Well, welcome back to my Let's Play for Prime Forest, and I guess the question is, will this game get better? And I'm not sure. You should relax at the castle sign, I'm just like that Captain Kiryu guy. Um, wanna learn? I'm on break, and I like listening to this lady playing. She's really good. We're raising a time of great peace. It is simply delightful. A time of great peace, huh? I don't believe you. Greetings, Captain. That's it. Why well, all the guys just say greetings? Well, nothing I can read in the books to explain the backstory of Prime Force. I know there's a prequel game, but you don't expect me to play it for this game, do you? This tea is prepared for Captain Kiryu. Please don't touch it. Uh, leave the tea. I don't know what happened if I took the tea, but whatever. Not very talkative. Um... So he's on Zan's crew. Guess I could ask the other questions, but I don't feel like it. That door sound effect gets a bit annoying, though. Since the cards never have anything to say in this game, just ignore them. It's just near the coins get cut off a bit. Vincent. Ellie. Hmm. Let's go, Ellie. We don't have time for this. But. No but. Your training awaits. Excuse us, Captain. Is it actually going to explain who they are? Guess the meeting is about to start. Nope. So, what do you want to do? I'm sitting here all day doing nothing. That's just like you, Fane. You don't say. Let's get going, shall we? Is that person just walking through the fountain? Bug? <sighs> Peaceful in the park, huh? Another bug. What the? I can move into a square as he moves, okay. That probably should be looked at too. Citizen! Well, I already spent all my money on stuff. So I can't buy armor or anything. Maybe, maybe not. Don't care. Nope, can't go out the side of the city to get more money. No point in visiting the inn since we're broke, and there's probably nothing interesting in there anyway. Ooh, a church. Ooh, a chest. Let's steal it. I'm praying to the gods of light. They don't hear you. Pray harder. You want to pray, young ones? Remember to follow the path of light. Yeah, that helps me so much in most games. If there's a church, it usually means it's evil.
Well, it's one of the biggest RPG cliches out there. If there's a church, it's evil. King's playing something big. Is it to take over the world? Of course. Well, probably nothing interesting in here. Oh, that's not a chest I can open. Nothing in there, nothing in there. No. Found a thousand gold pieces. Sweet. Now I can buy some equipment. Eh, put it off till later. I guess that just leaves the bar, really. Now, of course, you're not allowed to bring a dog into the pub. Yeah, whatever. I'm writing a love letter to who? Well, I won't let you look at it. Please don't bother me. All the medics are on break. I can't even. How many Iron Fist soldiers are the strongest around? Nobody can dare mess with us and our captain. Washing duty, huh? This was really something, huh? Remember, I dreamed of becoming one as a kid. Don't talk to me, huh? How about you? There you go. You don't require healing, do you? Uh, uh, no thanks. <laughs> I that you need any healing anyway. I need healing of the soul. Does that count? Is there anything else to do in this town? Been like everywhere already. Sorry, in the item and armor. What? The, there's something in the pot. Steal it. up here. There's been an accident with the latest shipment. We're cleaning up now, but until then, you cannot pass. Oh, what else am I supposed to do? Well, I have to talk with everybody? Oh, come on. I have to stay at the inn for a night or whatever. <sighs> I had to try and stay at the inn to move the game forward. Fun meeting or what, Bargus? Don't push it, Captain Leto. I'm not in the mood. See you around then, Vincent. Well, what was the meeting about? Yeah. Hmm. Quite the handful we're dealing with now. Yes, it is, but I think it's manageable. Serve the King, that is what I became a Skyblazer for. Don't you mean why I became a Skyblazer? I see. I guess we'll be all we'll all be, we all all be busy hereafter. I bid you farewell, Vincent. We all all that's that's sloppy. I realize this guy is from Norway, but it still bugs me. Oh, I almost forgot. What? You don't know what happened to my tea, do you? No idea. So that's so. I advise you to be honest in your future choices, Vincent. Lies won't get you anywhere. So he's saying I should have just stole it. Zan. Well, well, well. If it isn't my good friend, Vincent. Silent today, huh? You should be happy. We got one big task ahead of us. Don't you think now would be a time to step forward and show the king who really is the strongest captain? Why should I care about that? 
since you've tried to convince everyone these past years that you are strong, what does being strong have to do with being the strongest captain? You may think you appear to be the loyal golden boy that serves the kingdom and brings justice. But you know as good as me that's not true. Just stop it right there. I've trained with you under the secret training project for years before we became captains. I may not have the same experience as the rest of the captains, but neither do you. We're at the same wavelength, Van. We're not the same wavelength, Vincent. Not in intelligence, nor in strength. Strength's misspelled. Uh, I think intelligence might be misspelled, too. Not that I'm going to worry about it now. Yeah, between our powers are... How should I put it nicely? Vast. That's it, I've had it with you. Are you challenging me after all this time you finally have the courage to fight me? There should be a comma here, too. Slight pause, you know. I've always wanted to fight you and prove that arrogance does not get you anywhere in life. We shall see about that. Draw your blade, then. Let us begin. Man. Vincent! Can't stay out of trouble, can you? Stay out of this. This is between me and Zan. Let us help you. He's strong. <laughs> Vincent, a full-scale fight here in the castle isn't exactly a good idea. Think over the consequences. I suppose the witch has a point. Damn it! Consider yourself lucky, Vincent. I think we both knew the outcome of this fight. Why has everyone been able to teleport in this game so far, practically? You alright? I'm fine. Get ready to board the devout. We're leaving on another mission. Why is he being so emo? What is our location, Captain? Captain? Oh, sorry. We go east. I shall give more specific directions later. As you wish, Captain. Hey. Seems that you got a lot on your mind. You could say that. Just what is it with you and Zan Stryfoss? We trained together for a long time. What? From what I've seen, you seem like bitter rivals. Five years ago, a new special training program was conducted. Its purpose was to train Skyblazers at a young age. The training was very hard, both mental and physical, and the training candidates, train candidates was planned to be at captain level after three years of this training, of this training program. Ugh. Let me guess, that Zan guy is one of these candidates. Yes, but so was I and Lalette. It was some very rough times, and at one point I almost dropped out of the project. But then I got to know Lalette, and we became friends. I owe it to him that I made it through the and became a captain. I see, but what about Zan? Were you friends during the training project? That's a story for another time. I gotta be more emo about it. Sure thing. You must have a lot going through your mind about now. Yeah. What in the world was that? Status. See that something has breached the airship, Captain. You don't say. We're under assault? Who could it be? Let's not wait to find out. Let's move. What happened? Where are the other guards? The raiders, they disguise themselves as guards. We're outnumbered. Sneaky bastards. They shall pay for this. Don't worry about me, Captain. Halt the raiders. Oh, where are they? Who are you people? <laughs> Let's just say your days as a skyblazer are over. 
not is, are. What? Good job, mate. We've definitely stalled them long enough for the boss to. Are you dumb? You just exposed. Stalling us, huh? Let's get them out of our way. Ah, critical hit. Uh, 16 experience. It's the first time we must find out what's going on. Yeah, I agree. I'll give you a real beating. Oh, is that where the captain's at? Um, let's... Oh, there are random encounters right now over here. Good. I was hoping... I was expecting I was going to be really bored if there's only a couple enemies. Why does it still say active over there? The enemy's dead. Another glitch. <sighs> well, at least it disappeared when you killed it. A stun gun. Still shows active over there. And for the other one, too. You. Time to die! That's my line! Hi right, folks, here comes the captain. Jeez, everyone wants to kill the captain. Ah, defense up.
32 experience, huh? Well, is that, I mean, this isn't the captain over here. Certain now, this might turn out ugly. Looks like we got company. Get them! That's a strategy that always works. Get them! Pouch of coins, huh? No, oh. yeah. Hey, Captain, I thought it was a goner. What do you say, gooner? <sighs> it's one O, oh, not two. Guess we can't go this way. Is there no end to them? Well, well, looks like this fellow won't do down without a fight. Let's get him, boys. It's it's go down, G O. I know I'm nitpicking the crap out of the spelling here, but don't get me wrong. The spelling here isn't as bad as say, um, Outcast, the game that's never been. I can't even down play because. It's missing a sound file where they misspell chief as chef. They're not a native English speaker either, but I find it funny because they'll complain about people picking on them for grammar. But like, I don't care as long as I get the word spelled right. I'm like, if you were getting the word spelled right, it'd be less of an issue. I probably wouldn't nitpick you too much about your grammar. And let's go heal up again. I know I got a bunch of potions and stuff, but... It's always wise to take advantage of free healing when you got it available. At least that's my advice. What is this? Seems like a teleporting spell. He also uses it to call reinforcements. Is it still functional? No, I don't think so. It's lost its glow, anything that it's stripped of its power. Oh man, what do we do? Those rares are delaying us, but from what? That must be it. But where did it come from? Where W H E R E E. I, th I taught. It's thought. T H O U G H T. We defeated them all. Captain Erson have blown the upper parts off the ship. The ship won't last long in the air if this keeps up. Damn them. We have no time to waste. Let's go.
You, who are you working for? We ain't telling you nothing. What we can tell you is that we're making some sweet money on this. I'll ask you one last time. Who hired you? Huh. <laughs> Would you like to know? The orders he gave us was dispose of the devout and its crew. Uh, let's just get them already. I agree with Bruce for once. The airship is in critical condition. You think we're just going to surrender? Ha! We have a little surprise for you. What the... What in the world is that? It's an ugly robot. I've seen these before. These machines are designed to kill. Watch out! So it's a T1? Oh, come on, they ripped that right off the Dragon Ball Z air. <laughs> Dragon Ball. Yeah, there's a robot like that in Dragon Ball. character. Didn't die yet.
Come on. Come on. <sighs> Finally. He might just go down with a blast. Everyone all right? I've been better. See, it matter the ship is torn to shreds. I don't know how this piece of crap's floating. The ship has suffered too much damage. We're gonna crash. We're going down! Everyone, hold on to something! That's lame. We don't get to see anything. We just hear it hitting the ground. <sighs> hey, Vincent. Get up. This is serious. The ship, the crew, what happened? No sign of either of them. Then you must find them. Chances are the thought lies around here in the forest. So you must find it in the remaining crew. Now, where are we? Beats me, never seen such a forest before. Jeez, the music here is too loud. What about you, Fane? Know what location this is? This isn't going to be a walk in the park. What do you mean? You know this place? This is Gloomwood, a huge forest engulfed in shadows. It's said to inhabit some fierce creatures. Really? Then what are we waiting for? Let's go kick some... Brutus! We have a crew to rescue. We're not here to play around. We must also find out who did this to us. Uh, understood, Captain. Oh my, aren't things heating up? <laughs> we leave right away, move out. And this is where in game sound controls comes in handy. Jeez. It's one thing I, I hate about RPG Maker games is that oftentimes the sound levels are just overly high. And there's no like in-game way to deal with it, so you gotta use the um computer itself to do it. And I really hate doing that mid-game in a recording. <sighs> Which means I'll have to readjust it later.
What is it? This forest has an unpleasant feeling to it. So if Phyllis Bruce says he's afraid of a forest, now I've heard that. Who? He is right, though. It feels like anything could jump out from anywhere. We've got to be careful. I'm being blocked by a butterfly. Ah, uh, get away from me! That girl needs help. Right, get into battle position. Hey, come and play with us, will ya? I guess that ruins our ambush. Here they come. Way too loud. Hey, are you all right? Y yes, I'm fine, thanks to you. These woods are dangerous. You shouldn't be wandering around here. Don't think I know. It should be. Don't you think I know that? Ugh. So you're known in these woods, then I presume. Yes, I am. I come from the order known as the Night Watch. The Night Watch? I've never heard of such a group. Whereas they keep the forest safe. Forest. Indeed, but we're facing some real trouble right now. We should come back to the camp. At least it's safe there. Your camp, huh? Doesn't sound too bad or what, Vincent? Could be a trap, though. Ugh. Just save your life. I don't think anyone would invite their saviors right into an ambush after such an event. Cut off. We shall come with you to the night watch encampment. You lead the way. All right, just follow me. I don't want to go that way. There's a chest around here. This better be good. Hey, who are you people? Well, right, start with me. They rescued me in the woods. Really? They still look suspicious to me. They may help us. I've seen them in battle. They are strong. I guess you have a point. Move along, then. Eh, sorry about that. Welcome to Night Watch Camp. You should look around if you want to. Please drop by the big house in the camp. There's something you need to know, but it can wait a little. Have fun, meanwhile. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay, I get it.
Darn it. Oh yeah, I should go heal, shouldn't I? I haven't done that already and forgot. This area is too dark too, it's hard to see where you're going. Ah, oh, you're here, come, you must meet the leader. Welcome to our camp. You must be the ones that saved our girl. I am Lord Greyhill, leader of the Night Watch. They're not going to even give her a name. Pleased to meet you, my lord. I am Vincent Watkins of the Thalesian Kingdom. Thalesian, you say? What are you doing in these reaches, then? Well, our airship was assaulted by filthy raiders. We managed to defeat them, but they planted a bomb on our ship and we crashed here. Good thing you got it all covered, Brutus. I see. You're very lucky to be alive then. You should be grateful. They won't be as grateful when they find out what the hell hole they've crashed into. What do you mean? Please excuse her. Why don't you introduce yourself, Karen? Karen Greyhill, at your service. Pleased to meet you. Now you got the introduction side with anyone mind telling us what's going on here? Besides the music screaming in my ears? Or having a little situation here in Gloomwood. Dad, don't lie to these people. Tell them the truth. Fine. We're having quite an onslaught here right now. The Night Watch has always been the protector protectors of the villages and all of Gloomwood. But lately, creatures of the forest began acting strange, then hostile. And you know, they began killing people? Yes, yeah, so we had our hands full dealing with the rampage, but the worst was yet to come. The wolves of the forest became the most fierce of them all. They almost gained some kind of power. They're so as well as men, as well. Many of our men were were ambushed and killed. I barely survived myself. We know that they have a leader, a vile beast by the name of Fenrix. He's the one corrupting the woods and leading the assaults. Oh man, how could Fenris have gained such power for 
could have Fenris have gained such power from? Where could Fenris have gained such power from? Where? That's what troubles us. We don't have a clue where he got his powers from. Anyway, this beast must be stopped. Indeed, if we only had the manpower to... My lord. I ever offer my services to aid you in defeating Fenrix. Uh, what? If we don't stand up to this monster, we'll all be dead, right? And that won't do me any good. I need to find out what it has behind... I know who is behind the attack of our... Attack on our airship. O-N. All right. Let's make quick work of this Fenrix, shall we? Thank you so much, Skyblazer. We shall never forget about your kindness. Slow down. They're not liber they have not liberated us just yet. The real task lies before us. You're right, Karen, but I have a good feeling about this. What the? Damn it, they're already here. Guess they're being assaulted once again. We must defend the camp. Damn, the camp is overrun already? Need to move. This guy could use some help. Jeez. Thank you. That's one less of you scoundrels. Let us help you. Just don't get in the way. Trust me, we won't. What's the matter? We just won the battle. Doesn't matter. For every battle, we get fewer and fewer men. We'll never be able to launch an attack at Fenrix's lair. So that's why I'll go kill him myself. You can't rush into their camp. It'll be suicide. I don't care. I can't stand the slaughter of my comrades anymore. <sighs> Headstrong idiot. Looks like she's made up her mind. We should follow her. I'm gonna save here. And we'll pick up tomorrow, chasing after Karen. Uh.